Hello and welcome to our first video online tutorial. Guys, we are very excited to start this and this is something new for us as well as for you. So we'll be learning and adjusting as we go. But we hope to uh, deliver something uh, valuable for you guys and uh, we always appreciate your feedback. We will start our class today with a bow to shaman, front of the dojo. Facing shaman, feet together, shaman, ready? And bow to shaman is always silent. The second bow we do to each other means atagaini, atagaini, ready? Us. Today's uh, first lesson with something that we kept promising to do forever. Uh, everybody's been asking, you pretty, uh, asking us pretty much from day one and this is the perfect opportunity for us to, to do it. How to tie a belt. A traditional karate belt is called obi in Japanese. I start with one end, and there are many ways to do it, and there will, we won't tell you that there's one way that's right and another way that's wrong, because you'll, you'll see a million ways of time and different uh, martial arts and different schools teach it differently. But we do it this way, we learn it this way. We start with one end, and we put it to left side, and we roll it around, wrap it around, just like our gi top goes this way, same way I'm going with my belt. Once and twice. Right one on top of another, so I'm not crossing. Once it's here, I have the top one that I wrap under both layers. I flip it over and I make sure that both sides are even length. So no uh, one side is longer than another. And when I'm here, I flip the bottom one and make a cross and pull it through. And when I pull it through, I tie it into a nice looking knot and my belt ends up being the same length from left and right. And a different perspective so you can be watching a video as you tie it on yourself. Again, starting from the left hip, putting it to the left. Wrap it twice, one on top of another, We're not leaving a gap. When it's up front, you wrap both layers together. And now you find the even length to both ends, making a loop, pulling it through, and you got your belt tied. We'll start with the warm up. Um, I always uh, uh, recommend to warm up from top to bottom. Okay, so we'll bring our hands up, get in a comfortable stance, Hachiji Dutch stance, and we'll warm up our neck first. We'll go forward and back, forward and back. Then side to side, side to side. Now we're gonna circle around, slowly. One direction, and then other direction. Okay, once we warmed up our neck, we're gonna warm up our shoulders. So we'll start moving our arms forward, and slowly speed up, and then start moving backwards, and speed up. Okay, now we go to our elbows, one direction, and other direction. Okay, our wrist, so interlace our fingers, movement up our wrist, one direction, other direction. Okay, going down, hands under your chin, upper body, big, big circle, big rotation, upper body. And other way. Okay, now we're going down, we're gonna warm up our knees. Bend your knees and move your knees in one direction and other direction. 
We use our knees a lot in martial arts, so we gotta warm up our kneecaps and all the muscles around it, so straighten your leg, so you can move your kneecap. You can do it when your leg is bent. Leg is straight, and move your kneecap around, warm it up, so the bottom, the under, create heat. And same thing with your other side. Leg straight, and move your kneecap. Okay, now we're going all the way down to our ankles. Okay, stay in close sheet, ball of your foot, and move your ankle around this way, also your toes, and this way. Maybe also press out like this, and other side as well. This way, other way, toes, and out this way. Okay, let's stretch our back. Get into wide stance. Bring your hands behind your back to this position. Bend your knees more. Bring more weight on your toes, less weight on your heels. Slowly look up at the ceiling. And slowly, slowly, slowly look behind. Try to balance, don't fall. And then come up here. Okay? So now we all warmed up and let's work on some karate techniques. After warm up, we like to do a little bit of conditioning, strengthening our body. Seiken, these two knuckles that we used to punch with in karate, we do push-ups on those knuckles. Wide position on one line. We make sure that we don't roll our fist out. We keep pressure towards the center. In. So once I'm going to go down, I open up my elbows to make sure that my chest muscles expand as far as they can. It's always great to have uh, a parent or an older brother or sister to assist you with your exercise at home. And it's always more fun. Tense your stomach, tense your stomach. So I'm kind of pointing right here, okay? But sometimes you can overdo it and lift it up too high. No, where I can say, bring your hips low, yes, but not too much, exactly. Push your heels to the back as much as you can. Yes, and muscles around kneecaps. And now we see the straight line here. Again, since I mentioned, a lot of students do this, and they're looking at their belt, okay? So you can put your hand like this and say, okay, yes, perfect. So you just did your 20 push-ups, maybe more, hopefully with the best form. Some ab exercises, laying down, hands behind, and going up and down, up and down. If you can do it here by yourself, swing your hands forward. Do not cheat and do this. Here, your ab muscles are not working. And some leg work, squats. Here, straight down, straight up. You're always welcome to bring the number up. Let's practice some of our karate basics. The first thing we always teach in karate is how to block, how to defend ourselves. Karate was designed as a martial art for self-defense. So let's practice on our rising block, upper block. When you clench in your fist, open your palm, bend your fingers once, bend your fingers twice, okay? If you look here, you try to hide all the nails in so they're not visible, not like this. Okay, so in, and then cover with the thumb, like this. Okay, this is strong, very strong fist. Not like this, if you can see through the fist, that's not good. Okay, so we clench our fist, we get into good stance, slightly bend your knees, micro bend your knees, not too much, don't lock your knees, slightly bend. Okay, now, one hand goes up for rising block position, it's called agyuki, agyuki right here. Second hand goes to hikite, hikite should be above the belt. Okay, not pointing down, not open fist, closed fist, this one right here, okay. Now, how far? It shouldn't be right here. It should be away from your forehead, okay? About two fists away, right here, okay? And not this low, because then you're gonna miss the punch. 
So it should be higher than your head. So you can see your opponent here. Okay, now we're gonna cross our hands. We go itch, cross our hands. Okay, so you're looking at your uh, fingers. Knee up and twist at the end. Kick the hand, pulls all the way back here. And itch, cross, knee, sun, chi. Okay, now we're gonna try and go slow. One count. Itch. And breathe out every time. Me. A little faster. Sun. She. You see, I'm opening my shoulder, pulling my shoulder back, opening my chest. Itch. Me. Sun. Faster. She. Go. Okay, do 20 of those. We continue working on our blocks. So we covered Agiuki rising block, now we go into uh, Sotouki. And Sotouki is outside in block. Again, your fist squash correctly. Let's start with your left hand in front. If you look at me, you see I'm not blocking right now. The punch is actually going through and hitting me. So I have to turn my hips and my shoulders. Now the punch is going that way. Okay, back straight, chest forward, punch your fist. This hand, we just block with this hand, so this hand will go forward on control. Itch. Back hand, hickey the hand, will be getting ready to block. Goes to the ear, not this way, this way. Knee out, so wind up, big movement. And not in front of your face, because punch is coming to the body. We're going down, second hand goes back to hickey the, and the last moment, twisting your fist. See, I'm turning my hips, and my shoulders. Okay, so it's kind of like this. From this position, I turn to this position, and then back. See, I'm using my hips and shoulders a lot. Okay, so I'm here. The angle is 90 degrees, not too close, not way out too much, 90 degrees. Right angle. And again, itch, knee, san, itch, knee, Sun, one count, slow, itch, breathe out, tense your stomach, strong stomach, knee, sun, chi, go, rook, sitch, hunch, ki, chi, do 20 more. Next, we'll be writing an essay about blocking. Just kidding. We're going to work on inside out block and we're going to use a pen, a pencil, anything that looks like this. You imagine that this is your knife. Clutch it in your fist, squeeze it. Bring your other hand out for control. Bring this hand to your armpit this way. And again, imagine this is a sharp knife. You don't want to cut your arm off. You want to bring your hand all the way around your arm. As you're pulling this hand in, this one comes out. Pointing outside, not here. Twisting your hand at the end. Again, starting here, out. Twist at the end. Same as with Sotouki, about 90 degrees angle. Not too far out, not too close in here. And rotating shoulders and hip this time away from your block. Not following your block like in Sotouki, but opening it up away from the block. Then you switch hand, out, twist. In, out, twist and then you put your pen down one hand in front starting at your armpit around block pitch knee sun chi go rook switch pitch ki g So 
So there's three levels. Jodan, from neck to head. Chudan, from here to the belt. And Gedan, everything below the belt. So Agyuki, upper block, is a block against attack to Jodan. Sotauki and Uchiuki, two blocks that against uh, attack to Chudan level. And we have attacks below the belt. We use Gedan Barai, downward block. Gedan Barai. So we start here. One hand goes behind the ear. Not from your chin, not from the top of your head, not from your neck, from behind the ear. Okay? We're squeezing elbows together. This hand goes forward. Control. Now, this hand will slide down. Down, 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 down. At the end, we twist. And I pull my hip back with the hikite hand and the shoulder as well. Now, we block it with this hand. Itch. Okay, behind the ear, connect your elbows and slide, 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 block. Okay, open your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades behind. Closer. Itch. In. Knee. Out. Sun. Chi. Go. Pro. One count. Slow. Sitch. Faster. P. G. H. Ni. Sun. Chi. Just like this. Keep practicing. 20 more. Kids, ask your mom or your dad to assist you so they can check if you're actually blocking. If you happen to have a short pull noodle, awesome. If not, you can use your arm. And always, always, when you work with partner, remove your jewelry. Make sure you don't have any rings, no earrings, no chains, because that can be a potential uh, danger. I'll remove mine. What do we do when we practice with the partner? Correct, we bow. Feet together, looking at each other, hands to your sides, and bow. Us, us. It will start from Hachijidachi position. Okay, now I'll bring my hand up for the block. And let's say I didn't do a good job, right? Let's say my hand was a little bit out to the side. So, my parent's job is to tell me that I didn't do a good job, I didn't block. Okay, so, oh, okay, so I gotta bring it right here. Okay, and each. Good block. Me. Right, so bring it up high. Sun. Again, higher. Chi. Good. And you can also work on the reaction. Don't have to call the number. Just start attacking and have your partner block. Push. In karate, we must learn how to punch correct. After we block, defend ourselves, we gotta strike back. We're gonna work on our punches from stationary position. Feet shoulder width apart, clench your fist, bring one hand in front, bring your second hand to hikite position. Now hikite, if you look at me right now, if you see the gap right here, that's not good. Press your elbow in. Okay, and now the striking hand should not point straight forward from the shoulder. Now you want to point your hand to the middle line, okay? Now a lot of you guys do this. No. You want to have your shoulders squared where you can bring both hands here and without turning your shoulders, pull one hand back to hikite. Okay, now from here slow. You gotta bring your elbows in. In, elbows tight, elbows rub against your ribcage. Out, the last moment, twist your fist. Striking with Seiken, these two knuckles. And knee. Breathe out, tense your stomach. Sun. Little faster. Shi. Go. Roku. Sinchi. Hachi. 
Ki G Hey, do twenty of those. We just learned the power punch. Now let's work on some reaction. Okay, I'm gonna go to uh, my front stance, one leg in front, front knee bend, bring my hands to a fighting position. And my partner here, for you guys, your brother, sister, your mom or dad, can assist, and they will place the hand in front like this, okay? We will be working on a punch with the back hand. I can't preach, right? So I gotta turn my shoulders and hips. Good, good from here, okay? And bring it back. Okay, now, my partner will flip the hand this way, and I'm waiting patiently. As soon as he flips the hand, my goal is to strike. Oh, I missed. Okay, I gotta hit it correctly right in the middle. Bam, right there. Bam, right there. We recommend some stretching. Straight legs, straighter back. Don't do this. And here, reach to your toes, okay, to the mat. Maybe reach to your knuckles. Maybe put your palms all the way on the floor. And up, and again down. Up, down, up. And one more, lowest hold, and up. Awesome. Next, you'll go down into split. If you want to go super low, great. If not, just go to your challenging with. Don't relax your legs and feet. Try to flex them. Try to point them, flex them, hold them in flexed position. Now from here, straighten your back. Reach one arm up. Don't do this. Stretch your back, stretch your arm up. Try to connect your ear to your bicep. And from here, reach over towards your toes. If this is your limit, that's fine. If you can push yourself more, keep reaching lower. Make sure it is challenging for you. Don't stay within your comfort zone. Try to reach a little bit out of your comfort zone. Reach, up, switch side. All the way to the other side. Reach, up, and repeat that five times each side. Again, straight back, reach your hands up, and reach as far in front as you can. Not here. As far as you can, try to stick your hands to the mat, to the floor where you are, and from here reach your elbows down. Up, down, up. Now here, walk, pushing, pulling from your chest forward, not your forehead. Chest forward, down, up. Reach forward, down, up. Forward, down, up. And shake it up, bring your legs together. And that's good for the first video online tutorial lesson. I hope we did not disappoint you guys. And I hope you had fun and you trained hard today. Okay, we will finish our class like we always finish every session at the dojo. Okay, we usually do it uh, sitting down, but we'll do it standing today. Feet together. Okay, we bow to each other. Atagaini. Ready? Us. And then students bow to sensei, and senseis bow to students. Sensei. Ready? Us. Okay, yoi. Awesome job today, guys. And keep training, stay strong and healthy. One thing we forgot. And what is it? Dojo Kun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who would like to say Dojo Kun today? Oh yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Dojo Kun. Dojo Kun. Seek perfection of character. Be faithful. Endeavor. Respect others. 
Refrain from violent behavior. We'll see you soon. Puss. Puss.